paid my dues time after time I've done my sentence but committed no crime and bad mistakes I've made a few <coughs> everyone how are you today this gorgeous april day april 10th it's gorgeous out it's supposed to be into the 80s today it's like we went from winter to spring to now we're in summer uh and we've got some warm weathers going on that was our championship volleyball team you may be saying hey dr p why do you have the volleyball team up again did something else happen no i just believe they kind of got shorted because it was right as we were getting ready to go for Easter when they won their volleyball championship. And I just wanted to make sure they got the love that they deserve for the camaraderie, the teamwork, and everything that they accomplished this last season. They went undefeated. They were the league champs. And these ladies worked extremely hard. And I truly believe they really needed to be honored again uh, as we come out of Easter and everybody's eyes are refocused as we... We go towards the finish line of the school year. It's great to see. We already have about 25 viewers tuning in. Kimberly and Amber, good morning. I'm so glad that you are on the weekly roundup. Yes, this is the weekly roundup. This is the Grace Christian School Show where we come to you every week. And I'm Sheriff P, your host, and we share about all the amazing things that are going to be happening here at Grace, the things that have happened, and just a little time to visit with each other about things that are going on. I have to ask your forgiveness. Uh, the allergies, at, my allergies are just killing me with all this pollen. I look like I'm auditioning for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Snuffleupagus on Sesame Street. My sinuses are just going wild. So uh, I'm sure some of you can relate with that. But hey, I'm sure many of you have seen this. This is our news flash. This news flash comes out once a month. And this, this one that I'm showing you right here is going to show a, have a dual purpose. Number one, it's to really highlight Gina Fortune. Gina Fortune is one of our staff members here who does an outstanding job. It's her passion to recap the month that was just completed. And you get this email to you every single month in a PDF format. And it reviews all of the terrific things that have happened on our campus from preschool through eighth grade and you get a great synopsis of everything that's happened and you know what if you lose it on your email you can always go to our website and look at it it's best viewed in full color she has great pictures of all of our kids and everything like that she deserves a huge thumbs up she has her camera everywhere uh, getting pictures so if you can't be here you can see what happened this last month also right here this is the one that just went out on the front page, the spring concert is coming. Yes, it's right around the corner. The call times are right there for you. The uh, program begin time is right there. And we do a great job of starting right on time. I do want to remind you to bring your chairs, get here early. There is parking on the grass. And uh, we ask that you follow all the directions as to where to park and where to walk and everything like that. As we're getting ready for the performance, it is outside, so dress accordingly. I, I know the crazy weatherman says it's supposed to rain again this Saturday, and so I'm not sure if we're going to have a beautiful evening, a cold evening, or 
Uh, it's hard to tell what we're going to have, but we look forward to having you all there. Rachel and Debbie, good morning. Boy, your comments came right in together. It's great to see both of you. Yes, Gina does do awesome work. Man, we have a big crowd already. We're at 37 viewers. So today is kind of like Gina Squared Day. Gina Fortune for this outstanding news flash, and Gina Cabrera, our music director, who is putting together an outstanding spring concert that I know many of you want to attend, if not all of you will want to attend. And I understand that in spring, a lot of times we're into Little League and girls softball, and those things are happening, and kids have a commitment to their team and need to play. I completely understand that. And the sooner you can let Mrs. Cabrera know or your classroom teacher, the, the better that she can make sure she takes care of things here. But I, I fully understand that. Hey, back in August, I showed you this. It was this exact same picture. I went back to get it. It was ready, set, pray with us. And we've kicked off this year about praying. We have a prayer team that meets every Wednesday. And, and they meet from 8 to 8.30. And... Um, uh, their job is to pray, and sometimes they meet from 8.30 on. So I'm, I'm not quite sure exactly. She tells everybody when the prayer time is going to be, and uh, I, we're going to work on trying to make sure the weekly roundup isn't during the prayer time for next year. But this is a worthy cause. If you get here at 8.30 when you drop your kids off, look for the prayer team. Uh, it's moms and dads coming together to pray for our school, pray for our students, and pray for you as families. Uh, they do noble work, and we can feel what they are doing on campus every single day. So my hat's off to all of the ladies and men who have showed up here faithfully this year to pray for Grace Christian School. We truly appreciate it. Hey, how many of you heard of Kung Fu Panda? Well, that's Kung Fu Panda and Mrs. Temple. Our art teacher has uh, an art class going on that's going to be starting here uh, right after April 15th. And they're going to be drawing things from Kung Fu Panda. Uh, this last session that she did, they did avatars. And so this flyer has been emailed to everybody. If you have questions, you can email Mrs. Temple at btemple at gcsrr.org. And she can answer your questions. She is an extremely talented and gifted artist. And I'm sure and confident that she can pass some of those wonderful skills on to your kids and they can learn to do uh, art and just experience that. It's, uh, it's a great, fun event. And uh, if that's something your kids are into, uh, after school, Panda, Panda Art Class. That's a great thing to be in. Hey, the solar eclipse took place on Monday. Yes, we're still here. We return. Um, I can't believe all the craziness that we watched on the news uh, leading up to the solar eclipse, it kind of reminded me of 1999 when everybody was worried that computers were all going to shut down and what was going to happen. But uh, there's a picture that we took of the solar eclipse, and there we are looking. Uh, we had kids everywhere. We had the proper glasses for them. It was a fun day. We had galactic burgers. We had sun chips for everybody. Uh, moon pies we had. Uh, where There we go. Moon pies and Starburst. Uh, we had hippie ice here. It was a fun day. And the kids were having fun, but what they didn't realize is we were sneaking learning in there. They were learning all about the moon and the sun and the earth and eclipses. And it was a great day of education. We even had a couple of kids come up and say, you know what? This is the best day I've ever had here at school. And I'm thinking, boy, that's a pretty darn high bar considering we've had snow days, bicycle, motocross, carnival, race for grace. Um, it has been a great school year. And our solar eclipse day uh, uh, this past Monday was a fun day, and it, everyone had a great time. And Rachel says, my kids had so much fun. Well, thanks for sharing that. Yes, the kids said they had fun, and we planned up for this event, and I'm glad. Our attendance was great. We only had a few kids absent, uh, and that's not what I heard at some other schools. Other schools were... 20 to 75 percent absenteeism. Uh, I don't know why, but anyway, uh, that's it. Yesterday, we had a great chance to celebrate some of our amazing volunteers here at Grace Christian School. Uh, they were all brought in together, and we had a wonderful luncheon for them. And I just want to kind of recap you know, we had a luncheon, there was fellowship, parents were visiting. 
uh, just socializing with each other and having a great time. We had the jazz angels here uh, that were playing some real smooth jazz. We had El Serape. We had cheesecake desserts. And we had entertainment. And oh my gosh, can you talk about bomb? And I don't mean the bomb where the kids say bomb. Our entertainer bombed. Uh, we went through our due diligence and everything like that to get someone from Clean Comedians to come in. We had some church recommendations. and We had a comedian come share with our parents and, and just to build everybody up and laugh. Oh, my gosh. It was like, oh, I can't believe it. It was terrible. Um, so I think the whole point was that when she left, our parents were laughing and everything like that because of how terrible uh, the comedian was. And just she didn't get her audience. So uh, it was it was pretty hilarious. That, so she did, I guess, in an indirect way, what she was supposed to do. She created more uh, camaraderie between all of us and she created memories that we're going to be able to laugh about and everything throughout the year. So just wait till next year uh, who we're going to get. Uh, it, it's pretty funny. And when she walked in, we knew we were in trouble because she didn't look anything like uh, the videos or anything like that that we could watch. But I just wanted to share that with you, parents, in case you hear about this comedian that we had that just did a terrible job. Yeah, she was... <laughs> Debbie's on here. She was there. Rachel, um, they, they were there. <laughs> they could tell you firsthand. It was it was uh, it was painful to watch, and I think I even got a poked eye somehow uh, from it. But uh, uh, Amber says it was it really was Debbie. <laughs> uh, the Jazz Angels, yes, Amber. The Jazz Angels were truly amazing. Uh, they were gifted, and two of those Jazz Angels, you may not know it were Mrs. Wolfner's uh, children, uh, the, the bass player and the, the bass saxophonist. Uh, those are both children. Yes, Amber, it was truly a bonding experience. They say people are always closer after a disaster. And uh, yes, that's truly what it is. We still had a good time. Thank you, Dr. P. Thank you so much for, for the love. Um, it was great. You know, you, you really know who your friends are. Uh, after an event like that, uh, you know, we're in there, we're sharing love. Uh, the, the parents are coming to me, loving up on me. Hey, we understand. We're all laughing. I turn around at my two faithful assistants, Mrs. O'Rue and Mrs. Mullaney. They drop me like a hot rock. Um, and who can blame them? But I thought Mrs. O'Rue was coming in to fill the emails that we'd be getting. But we should have all, <laughs> we should, yes, we should have the confidence that that lady had to come up on stage and, and, uh, do what she was doing and realize this isn't working. It, I just need to cut this short. But anyway, parents, it was a great time. We're looking forward to the, the luncheon next year. We just might have a formal high tea and I just might serve you guys uh, cucumber sandwiches and uh, a hot tea and go from there. Let's see. I thought I recognized her from the talent show. So talented. Yes. I, I don't think she would even make the GCS talent show. Uh, but uh, yes, it was a fun a fun, fun luncheon that we had a chance to bond and it'll give people to talk about. The stress on your face, Dr. Pete. Yes, the stress was amazing. Uh, I felt like I had a third degree sunburn uh, sitting there. Like, how can I end this? Can You know what? I even contemplating having a fire drill uh, to, to get you guys out of there so that we could... Uh, oh, sorry, we're out of time. Sorry, uh, Amy, you have to go. And that concludes... Uh, concludes the event. But anyway, hey, as we're wrapping up this weekly roundup, I know we're going to be talking about the, the lunch. And parents are going to be volunteering like mad next year because they want to see who we're going to get. to. She set the bar for us for next year. But hey, as we're closing up the year, uh, next week we have a restaurant night coming up on Wednesday and you'll get information about that. Open house is right around the corner. So make sure you mark your calendars for that. Next week, we have a special guest presentation for our preschool and lower elementary, that's going to be happening, and we'll share all about that with you. Uh, that is going to be a load of fun, and I know she's not going to be anything like the comedian. Uh, she's time-tested approved, but um, you know what else I was looking at? Um, we just have a little over 30 days left this school year, 30 academic days to go in class. Uh, wow, where has this year gone? But whew, anyway... Parents, uh, thank you for tuning in to this weekly roundup. 
I, I tell you all the time, and I hope you don't take this as I just is a closing tagline because it's not. We truly do consider it a privilege to partner with each and every one of you to work on developing godly children who will turn into godly leaders who will lead this country focused on Jesus Christ. And um, as a school, I know we pray for you as parents, we pray for our students, and we can fill the prayers that you do for each and every one of us, faculty, staff, and students, and campus. And we greatly appreciate it. We just feel it's a, a, a wonderful relationship that we do everything we can to glorify Jesus Christ in what we do here on this campus. But parents, that concludes this weekly roundup. It was a fast one. And to all of you uh, volunteers who were here yesterday, we have a bonding experience that we will share forever. Um, and uh, hey, what's your favorite prayer? No, <laughs> what's your favorite prayer? Anyway, I'll leave it at that. Until I see you next time, may God bless the trails you ride. Have a great day, everyone. See you real soon. Desert sand at night, following the stars upon their course. But the moon is a companion, counting every step, looking for that one true horse. That one true horse, perfect partner built to ride. One true horse, a bond that cannot be. Search forever just to have the chance to take a ride on one true.